right, we're here in uh, Imperial Valley, just filling up some uh, gas in the Suburban and uh, getting ready to go. We've been, I, I'd call it a little bit of a hiatus uh, that I've been in from the YouTube channel especially. Uh, we went to Verona and uh, and uh, torsion stop came off, knocked a hole in the oil pan, then uh, we had a uh, chain come off at Mojave the next weekend and knocked a hole in the uh in the in the case so that was a bummer we got that all fixed up um so that's why there hasn't been much going on in the uh the youtube channel of things because there's been nothing exciting in the in the racing department so uh yeah we're here non-wing in uh in imperial today hoping that uh it's going to be a good race uh hoping the track's going to be racy and uh just uh hope for better luck and uh confidence level is not super high right now um, but that's how it goes when you haven't been in the car for a while. So um, we'll see what happens. I love I love racing non wing So you know I think uh, I think we're in good shape. Uh, yeah, this is where I ran for my first race in Lightning Sprint, and so um, yeah, to get to uh, go back to a somewhat familiar track and uh, make it happen. Peace out. So yeah, um, confidence isn't super high right now, uh, but I think after I do hot laps, I'll be uh, back in my groove. You know, I just haven't been in the car in a while, and uh, you know that's um, you're out of you're out of the seat for a couple weeks, and it just um, you know you, you have to get back to where you were, or at least I have to get back to where I was. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, it should be a good day of racing. Um, get to uh, get to hot laps, get to qualifying. I'll have it all on the GoPro like always. Uh, it'll be cool for you guys to see the uh, non-wing action because normally I don't think I've done a YouTube video without the wing on it. So um, yeah, it's, it's uh, similar but a little more sliding. You're kind of just throwing it in there, flicking it in a little bit more uh, versus just driving it in there with the wing. So I think uh, it'll be a good, good day of racing and uh, we'll see. So yeah, we uh, just got wrapped up unloading the car from the trailer. Uh, putting the shocks on it. We travel with uh, with these bars right here on it, or these rods, so that our shocks don't get worn. So if you imagine we're on the uh, trailer and uh, we're going for a three hour car ride, it's just doing this the whole time, just going up and down, up and down. And so it'll actually heat up the shocks and, and it'll put wear on the shocks, which we don't want. Um, you know, it's uh, shocks are expensive. I don't know how much they are each, but um, I know it's a couple grand to, uh, to get all four of them. So obviously we want to save our equipment so that we uh, aren't, you know, having to buy new stuff all the time. Um, yeah, that's another thing we need to do in the off season is uh, put the shocks on the dyno, maybe maybe get them rebuilt. Uh, but yeah, so um, we do that. Uh, put the rebound in there. They are rebound adjustable, um, which means that uh, you know you have you have the compression and then you have the rebound. Um, these are only rebound adjustable, so some are re rebound and compression. Um, so we put you know we put the right amount of turns in there to uh, get it get it where we want on the setup. Um, we kind of run the same thing most most all the races um, it's not really something we've messed with a whole lot uh, and most importantly I've got my uh, name on there which is the first it's been been a while since I've had my name on a race car so uh, did that and we got the blue Hoosier we got it painted right there so um, my dad uh, put some put some extra spice into the car and I think that um, with the with the blue painted Hoosier and my name on it I think that uh, that'll turn our luck around I want to say all right, so just about to head out. Um, there's nothing like not being in the car for a while and then going out and having to uh, having to get her done. Um, doing hot laps and then we're gonna come back in and then go uh, straight back to qualifying. So I, we're not gonna have much time. Like I'm just gonna stay in the car. Um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be cool. I mean, I, I loved this track when I was there when I was on it uh, previously, and it was the first time I, I had driven this car. So um, should be should be all set. The cars. Um, staying in one piece and then uh, I think we will have a race on our hands like I said um, yeah but uh, for right now I'm just sitting here on the trailer um, just staring at the car because uh, you know it's nerve-wracking you haven't been in it and uh, you know you gotta hop in there and make stuff happen so yeah time will tell and uh, when the helmet comes on everything all the nervousness all the pressure all that just goes out the window and um, and it's just game time so see you then
Alrighty, so hot laps. I went out there. Um, the car was pretty tight on me. Um, I try to turn it in and I want to use more throttle, but I could tell it's just going to push me up the racetrack. Um, so there was way too much weight on the left rear or it wasn't setting over. Um, it kind of felt almost like a, like a wing car in a way, uh, but obviously that doesn't work without the wings. So yeah, we would definitely want to get that weight to transfer. So we uh, took out some rebound of the, on the left rear and uh, we put a turn in the right rear and uh, some other stuff too. Uh, so yeah, and then, so we did that for qualifying. Qualifying, uh, car felt great. Uh, it felt, felt like I could put it where I wanted it to, or where I wanted it to be. Um, on my best lap, there's holes in, uh, in the bottom, out of two. So you hit them, it kind of unsets the car. So I realized that, and then I went up high uh, to get it, got a really fast lap going, got probably my best lap. Um, and then I got slowed up by that other car. Uh, so that sucks. I mean, I'll just know that, uh, I'm not sure where I qualified, but I'll know that I could have gotten a little more out of it. Could have, I have no idea where I qualified. I mean, I usually come back and just, I mean, I could be 10th, 15th or 5th, you know, yeah, I have no idea. So I'm gonna check that out. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get, get all ready for the heat race. Alrighty, so I went and checked where I'm starting and where I qualified. Uh, I qualified 7th um, out of, I believe there's 19 or 20, 18 or so cars here. So that's right about where I would have guessed I would have been. Um, just because I didn't really get a, good, a great lap in. So uh, starting in 7th, or qualified 7th, starting inside of the second row um, in my heat race. So that's good. I mean, you know what? Uh, top 10 qualifying, I mean, Seventh isn't uh, is, isn't ideal, but it's not about qualifying. You qualify first, and um, you know if you don't do good in the main event, it's not a good night. So yeah, just gotta keep keep going forward. Um, the car feels great. Uh, we made those adjustments, and uh, I'm ready to roll. I feel confident. Um, just gotta work the inside pretty good, and maybe get up there a little bit, uh, not super high, um, and see what happens. Go forward. That's what you gotta always do. So uh, you know what? We're just gonna try to do that and see what happens. Did my heat race, um, it felt all right. You know, it felt, felt decent in the car. Um, I think that I, I, well, I started in third, uh, passed second, and then uh, another car got by me. Uh, but it felt like towards the end there, I was uh, getting a little more confident, and um, that's what it's all about. So yeah, so qualified seven, got third in the heat race, and then we are on to the main event next. Uh, I'm about to strap in the car, 
Um, yeah, I think we're all set. I'm starting on the first row on the outside, so uh, that gives me a good chance. Uh, car's feeling good, I'm feeling good. Um, there's no reason why this can't be a, a night to, to take the win. So uh, we'll see, we'll hope for good things. Hope that uh, I can do some uh, good performing. Hope the car's feeling good. And that's all you really want. So peace out and let's get into it. Well, here's the car. Uh, we already did some work to it. Uh, we put our other front end, but uh, basically this this front end, this about right here, it just got cut in half. Um, I pretty much just landed on it. Um, so we replaced that. Um, and uh, muffler got a little messed up. The headers are a little loose on there. Um, and this right here got, uh, it got, a, I think the dude's rim uh, hit right here is like I'll put up the picture but there's like a tire like right like literally right here uh, so crazy stuff but as far as damage pretty much uh, wasn't wasn't terrible we got to check some stuff and when you crash like that it's you got to check for like binding like see if the Jacobs ladder is like moving um, correctly like how it's supposed to be and like the axle and, and to see if that's straight and and um, you know there's stuff we got to go through but came out of it pretty pretty decent for how I crashed uh, yeah yeah so I was having a decent night uh, qualified seventh I knew I could have done better if I had gotten a better lap uh, heat race went stay stayed in third um, felt okay in the heat race and I felt car felt great in the main event for the short time that I was 
on four wheels. Uh, but yeah, I I think that um, I was I was behind the leader. Um, I was kind of trying to find find a way around him, find a line that was going to work. Um, I tried to go high going into uh, going into three, and and then I got passed by third. So then I'm like in a in a panic mode because I wanted to uh, I wanted to get up front. So I was a little antsy. Um, and pretty much, yeah, came up on that guy, um, and pretty much just drove into him. I mean, I, I, uh, you know, you're not, you can't do that in a, in an open wheel race car. Uh, so that was a bummer. I wasn't trying to make a move. I wasn't trying to do a, some sort of slide job. I mean, I knew there wasn't room. I wasn't mad or anything. Like I wasn't trying to, wasn't trying to do that. Um, and I wasn't like, I didn't feel like I drove it in there any harder than I normally uh, was. But you know, I probably should have given him more room I I kind of had a little bit of a run on the inside and then he came down and and stayed there but I pretty much just uh, I shouldn't have uh, drove it in there that hard I guess um, you know you just can't can't do that and I feel terrible for uh, taking someone out of the race you know that's not a it's not what you want to do you want to be a guy that uh, people can can race around and not have to worry so uh, yeah that's definitely like a little bit of an ego ego setback for sure like you know we've had some mechanical problems but that's just a that's an error on my part for sure um, but yeah cars cars decent uh, we'll be able to get it fixed up and um, be out there for Ventura so uh, we just gotta gotta learn from that and and not do that again because uh, that'll happen every time if, if you run in run over someone's uh, rear tires so yeah that sucked um, but I'm all right I'm like a little sore but nothing nothing terrible um, so yeah we'll um, learn from it uh just gotta know not to do that really um that's it doesn't matter if you're in a sprint car or a midget or or a landing sprint you can't can't run over someone like that so yeah just learn from it and um, not do it again and move on to ventura <laughs> <laughs>